Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead. How easy is it to grow an apple tree from the seeds in an apple you eat? The process is quite easy, but you need to know something. You might not get what you expect. I'll talk about that at the end of this experiment and see how well our, the germination goes on ours. So I came in to have lunch. Had lunch March 15th. Uh, had a Fuji apple, took some seeds out, and I'm gonna, uh, put the, I'm gonna try to germinate these. The process is quite simple. I already actually did this before I turned the camera on. I'm going to redo it here in just a second. But I wrote seed test April 15th. That's the date I'm supposed to open it because it's March 15th. Going to leave it in there for one month. There is inside this bag a soaked towel. Uh, and then I wrung it out. And then I put it inside the bag. And I'm just going to put this inside the refrigerator. So it looked something like this. I went ahead and just got the towel wet. Plenty of moisture. I don't want it sopping, dripping though. So, squeeze it out. There's still plenty of moisture in here, but not dripping. We'll place the seeds on the towel. We'll roll it up, put it inside a Ziploc bag, and then put it in the refrigerator for one month. Then pull it out, see what happens. All right, fast forward to uh, Saturday, April 15th, uh, it's time to pull the seeds out of the refrigerator and see if they've germinated. I should have put a reminder on my phone because I almost forgot about this. You know, it's 30 days later and uh, just yesterday I was like, hey, I have apple seeds in the refrigerator. I need to check out, check these out. So I, I put them in here. I just tucked them up in the door out of the way where nobody's going to damage them or uh, pick them up and throw them out. So again, it said... Seed, seed test April 15th, so today's the day to open them up. Let's see how they did. Be very careful when you take the seeds out of the bag, or I shouldn't say out of the bag, but when you're unfolding the towel, because uh, if the roots are growing, they may uh, be in the fabric of the towel and you don't want to tear the roots. So uh, as you open it up, be gentle. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six that have uh, started growing roots. So I'm going to go ahead and take these, put them in pots, and start growing them. Okay, this is why I said to be careful that it might go through the towel. You can see both this root and this root found a hole, and they're trying to go through there. I need to pull this out without ruining it. So I got both those out. Uh, one of the tough things about when you stratify seeds in the refrigerator, it doesn't know which way is up. And so sometimes they grow every which direction. And so it's not easy to plant. This seed right here, this is gonna be the easiest one to plant because it's got the root coming straight out. We're going to stick the root straight down in the soil. And this one should take off. I probably should have tweezers for these things because they're hard to grip but and not grab the roots. But this is the one with the straight root. So I'm going to point that root straight down, put the <coughs> seed just a half inch below the soil and cover it up. Let's go ahead and try to do this long leggy root. I'll have to give myself a bigger hole. Put it down in there and then just trust that nature will find its way back up. And uh, here's another one that's not quite as long. I don't like the fact that the root bends back on itself, but we'll point that down. And it'll, we'll put the soil nice and soft above the seed, and it'll find its way back up and out of there. There you have it, there's three in the pots. I have a couple more pots that I'm gonna do later, but. These seeds were pulled out of the refrigerator on April 15th. It is now April 24th, nine days later. They were planted and this is what we got. A month and nine days after being put in the refrigerator. Okay, I mentioned that you might not be getting exactly what you expect. And what I mean that by that is two things. I, I, got, I ate a Fuji apple and took these seeds but I'm not gonna get a true Fuji apple. I'm gonna get a Fuji mixed with whatever it pollinated with, so it's not gonna be a true Fuji. The other thing is, if you buy uh, 
apple trees at the nursery, they are almost always grafted into a different rootstock, which uh, inhibits their growth up, and so you can have dwarf or semi-dwarf trees. Uh, these are not going to be on different graft, grafted into different rootstock, so they're going to grow more like a wild tree, uh, taller, probably much larger. Uh, in my situation, I don't mind because I, I want these trees for my campground area, and it's going to be kind of on the edge of manicured area and kind of towards the woods. And I'm hoping that they grow large and there will be good fruit that I'll enjoy, but there are also going to be a lot of fruit dropping for the deer and uh, wildlife. So uh, if it grows extra large, I don't care. I don't need to keep it in a suburban yard. Thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business. Teaching and cleaning horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects like growing these apple trees are my passion. Hope to see you again soon. Be blessed, everyone.